Hi Gemini, welcome to your love reading. This is going to be for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Venus and Rising. And these messages are general, so they may or may not resonate with you. If it doesn't, you can always check your other placements to see what else comes out for you. Okay, Gemini. What's going on with Gemini, love? What's going on with Gemini? Okay. We have this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. We have you deserve love. You're lovable. This is really positive. I like this. So you may be dealing with someone who may be the one for you. You're needing to know that you're lovable, you know, regardless of what could be going on here. Let me see. Gemini. Heart to heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other and we have getting to know each other. Ooh. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. This tells me that you guys need to talk okay this is all about communication hard talk conversations and getting to know each other clearly you don't know each other as much as you think you do you know there needs to be deeper conversations more questions asked especially if it's a new connection but some of you could be with this person for years and still don't know the half of them well they still don't know the half of you like there needs to be some like there's going to be hella communication in the coming days and weeks for you or there needs to be if there's not then you need to push these conversations to happen because it's going to really benefit this connection we have playfulness to recapture romance allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine so all these cards are positive and they all speak about connecting with your person and making sure you know each other making sure you speak my neighbors are making noise right now so if you're a loud noise, it's them. <laughs> but anyways, Gemini, cards are falling out already. Some of you might be in a long distance connection. Um, some of you may be finally able to travel or go see your person or they're finally able to come see you. I'm seeing like happiness and travel here. What's their energy towards Gemini? What's their energy towards Gemini? See, they're making noise. The Hermits could be dealing with a Virgo, some of you. And the Ace of Cups, also the Knight of Cups, all positive except for the Hermit. But I do feel like for some of you, this could mean your person is like you guys could have just gone through separation or currently in separation where your person is right now in Hermit mode. They don't really, they're not really speaking up. They're probably feeling down or dealing with some personal issues, but they also have this ace of cups when it comes to you. So they, they are open to love with you. They're not done with this connection. And we have the knight of cups, which means they're coming towards you. But right now it's like, if the communication is, isn't good, it's because of this hermit card here. They're not really, they're not really receptive bonding right now or just wanting to be alone but it won't last long i'm literally seeing just days not weeks or months like this could only last a few more days or a day or so where this person is in this hermit mode so it's nothing to worry about and if you are wondering why there's been no communication it's because your person is like in deep thought right now what's our uh, gemini's energy towards this person Gemini's energy towards this person. Oh, you're in confusion at the moment when it comes to them. I see that you want a new beginning, Ace of Cups, or you may be wanting an apology from them or to apologize to them. You want some kind of communication. You want to express how you feel, some of you, or you want them to express how they feel. But you kind of, you've been in the dark about why why they've been silent or what's been going on with this two of swords here trying to figure out what sorry i'm like having hiccups <laughs> trying to figure out what to do with this two of swords also eight of pentacles so you may have been focused on work at the same time so the energy of this connection What's the energy of this connection? Three of 
Wands, Eight of Swords, and the Knight of Swords. Could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, we also have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, but Three of Wands. Someone is waiting for something. Someone in this connection is waiting. Whoever is waiting, you know, they're not stressing. They know it's going to happen. Because the Three of Wands is about seeing it come in, but it's still not quite there yet. So some, some of you know that you still need to have a conversation with this person and then everything will be fine. However, there is someone keeping themselves stuck with this um, Eight of Swords. Someone's keeping themselves stuck here. You know, maybe not allowing themselves to open up. It, most likely it's your person because they are the ones who are in hermit mode. Again, it, though, it could be vice versa. Whoever is in hermit mode, they're kind of, you know, keeping themselves a little bit stuck or overthinking something. But let me see what's going on for you. Okay, Gemini. Gemini, what's going on? going on with Gemini in love so we've got the king of cups Could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We also have Libra energy with the Empress. And also Aquarius with the Star. Some Taurus energy in Virgo again because we have Hermit. Now we've got the Hermit blocking the situation. So, you know, the lack of communication here is because someone is in Hermit mode. Someone's not trying to speak right now. They are kind of reflecting okay but this person's feelings towards you we've got the king of cups this is like one of my favorite cards for feelings obviously because it means they're in love you know it means they are in this connection still even though they're in hermit mode so it's like nothing to worry about the feelings are still there they're seeing you as the empress so this person is very very attracted to you i, I, I don't think you have anything to worry about here the only issue is communication, which I just told you, you know, it's going to be fine. It's just temporary. They're viewing the relationship as a nine of cups, which means this is a relationship that they've wished for. Okay. This, this is, this is, this is their wish come true. Okay. You see the genie and the lamp. This is their wish come true. We have the three of pentacles and we have the star so this person they do want um they do want things to improve they do want the relationship to grow with this three of pentacles this person they may have a fear that you that that they may be in a third party situation that you may have someone else maybe they have trust issues for some of you but they also This could be someone who's quite shy because they don't they don't seem to like crowds or having people involved in this relationship like say your family members are getting involved let's say you have a family that is like really like the type where they say if you're dating me you're dating my whole family this person would be nervous by that kind of thing that comes with getting to know them because you may not know that they are really nervous about stuff like that. It's almost like they're just afraid of the crowd, wherever, wherever the crowd may be, be it in a relationship, be it going to a concert. Some of you are dealing with someone quite shy or just to themselves a lot, hence them being in hermit mode, self-reflection. But we have the fool here. And I'm also getting an additional message that your person they may come, even if they come off as really confident and outgoing, 
something that you may find out about them when you get to know them more is that there is there's a slight shyness to them you know they don't always have it all together even if they are really coming off as outgoing so they may like open up to you about a weakness of theirs where they'll say something like i'm i'm, I'm low-key shy or you know stuff like that or also that their outgoingness could be just kind of a nervous reaction like they just i don't know how to explain but you know what i mean we got the fool the magician and the wheel of fortune okay so also the knight of wands could be an aries leo sagittarius the fool is in the position of their next move which means that they're gonna take the leap towards you we do have the six of swords this person wants to move from a rough patch in this relationship to a more a more calm place and so they're ready to take this leap we've got the fool as their next move this is an action card so it's like they're about to take action there's no worrying about this hermit mode i'm telling you it's very temporary this person may be somewhat of an introvert sometimes and maybe an extrovert other times sometimes it seems like this person needs to go in and recharge and they may be someone who gets overwhelmed in a crowd like they could be empathetic they could get overwhelmed by crowds they, that could make them nervous i don't know why i'm getting that vibe but they're gonna be taking a leap towards you we have the magician in the position of what you need to know some of you may be manifesting this and some of you your positive thinking and your light-hearted energy may be manifesting this relationship back maybe you were not stressing about it maybe you're just you know chilling and that kind of causes you know it to be drawn back to you we have the wheel of fortune as the outcome so this does speak of the positive change that is coming especially if you allow yourself to just be playful and get to know your person more you know don't feel like you know every single thing about your person they may reveal to you some shocking news that they may actually low-key be shy or low-key think that you're too good for them anything like that you know you may be shocked at what they reveal so let me see what we got here okay energy adjustment field or cleansing and health in rama wonder voyage crossing deep waters pilgrimage journey of the soul and we have water flights heaviness lifts burdens are cast away weightlessness so if you feel like if you're worried right now i'm telling you i hope this reading does lift the burden but eventually you'll see that is that it's only temporary okay this is just like a little i wouldn't say a test but more like just a little rough patch in the situation we have caution secrecy wary this connects to what i was saying when this person when i said this person may have some kind of shyness that they're keeping like some kind of prote protective like they protect their self their feelings um because they're shy or they just don't like too many personalities at once but let me see we got here all right the three of pentacles i want to clarify that because why the three of pentacles oh my goodness <laughs> yeah this person doesn't like the pressure they don't like the pressure they don't like like for some of you there may be someone in your life who is really hard on them or someone in their life who's really hard on them maybe a father was in the past when they were kids but there's something about like hostility that this person doesn't like they like a calm environment they also are probably someone who works alone they don't like to work with people so they could be trying to start their business they could be trying to leave a nine to five to start their own thing i think this person just works better alone 
or with less people around. Um, the star, why is the star here? Ace of Pentacles in reverse. The higher offense. Okay, so this person, they they do want tradition. They do see this moving forward. Really? They're so loud. Um, they do see this moving forward. They do see a long term, but I feel like they don't really have it all figured out yet of where this going of where this is going if you're not married to this person. Some of them may feel rejected at times, as I said, like they could feel like you're too good for them at times. Even though they want something with you, they may feel like sometimes you're just too good for them. Um, I do feel like they have a little self-esteem issue. Just a little one, not major. Not major. The Magician. Nine of Cups in reverse. They fear disappointment. They have a major fear of disappointment. Some of you are long distance. Some of you... <laughs> Magician and the High Priestess together. This is a lot of power. So some of you may have a lot of um, manifestation, power to manifest more than you think. So for you, I think it's it's important to pay attention to your thoughts and make sure they're all, always positive because it's showing me that at least maybe during this time, you are manifesting like crazy. So it just be careful what you're manifesting because we can manifest things by accident, so make sure it's all positive, but um, some of you, you may, may be able to travel or they're able to travel towards you, but it's definitely looking like a long distance connection for some of you. But some of you have been manifesting this, whether intentionally or unintentionally. So we got the Wheel of Fortune, Justice in Reverse, could be a Libra for some of you, but the tables are going to turn, if you feel like it's been unfair, things are going to change, okay, things are going to change and this person is going to open up with this four of pentacles in reverse so no longer being closed off this whole getting to know each other and having heart to heart conversations you're going to learn so much about this person you may even let them know a lot about yourself but this is the main thing here is this these this communication right here so let's see what we have here for gemini what do we have Improving health, opportunity, success, and there's something better. So for some of you, I get the vibe with there's something better that this person, like, because I'm picking up on their slight insecurity again, or lack of self, um, like low self-esteem, slightly low self-esteem, where they think that you could find something better, and that makes them nervous, so they might open up to you about that they might confess to you that they have a fear that you might find someone else and that they're a little shy or a little you know nervous i get the feeling that they're going to reveal these weaknesses but i feel like you're going to see it as strength you know just to be able to say it to tell you you know their deepest fears and it's gonna it's gonna bring a lot of success to this relationship bringing it closer together, strengthening the bond. As it says, as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. It may even heal a lot of wounds for this person and for yourself. Like you may be able to heal each other by being each other's therapist in a way, you know, like just talking, you know, 
because this person definitely has love for you they have the king of cups is how they feel about you I'm sorry about my neighbors moving chairs around upstairs but yeah this is what i'm seeing for you this person this top row how they see you how they feel about you and how they feel about the relationship it's all positive it's all amazing but when it comes to what's blocking and when it comes to their fears it seems to be mainly their own personal issues that they may reveal to you you know confess to you and be open about so that's a good thing too and then things change things turn around for the positive so could be dealing with the libra we have justice and the empress we have pisces cancer scorpio we have virgo uh, aquarius taurus so yep Check your other placements if you'd like to know what else is coming up for you. Like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you are new, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.